guys today is another day for another vlog and it's three days before Christmas and so I'd like to post at least one more video and for today's video I'd like to share to you my experience in breeding blowfish tetra from failure to success so stay tuned guys so here's my first attempt to breed the blowfish tetra I have here seven uh, blowfish tetras of different colors and at least three of them I'm sure are females and here you can see that I put them in a breeding cage made of a plastic uh, mesh and the purpose of this mesh is so that the tetras or the parent tetras won't be able to eat their eggs so as you can see just overnight they already spawned but you'll notice that the eggs are white in color which is an indication that they are not fertilized but i didn't uh, gave up easily i still waited for another 24 hours and so i checked the temperature so as you see it shows um, like 26 degrees celsius on the digital uh, thermometer so here I used a uh, heater to somehow raise the temperature. I wasn't able to show the um, temperature reading after uh, I put the heater, but as I can recall, uh, it went up to like 29 degrees Celsius after i put the heater so uh, i also put uh, methylene blue so uh, the methylene blue is to prevent fungus uh, growth or fungus attack on the eggs So anyway guys, in this uh, first attempt, I failed because uh, even after 48 hours, I didn't see any wiggler or fry. And so I'm thinking that the possible cause is that the eggs were so scattered too far from the breeding cage. And I think it's because the tank is too big compared to the breeding cage. So here's my next attempt to breed glowfish tetra. Here I used a smaller aquarium. So before I used a 20 gallon tank. Now here I used a 2.5 gallon tank. So as you can see I used the same breeding cage here. but the size of the aquarium now is uh, close to the size of the breeding cage and here i acclimated the glowfish tetras again the same glowfish tetras the same breeders So you'll notice that I have those two uh, floaters on the sides of the uh, breeding cage so that the breeding cage won't uh, sink and won't uh, touch the 
bottom surface of the aquarium so to uh, avoid uh, having the uh, breeder tetras eat their eggs So here is a video after twenty four hours, and you'll see here just overnight they spawned already. So So you will see that there's already eggs at the bottom surface of the aquarium. And so I removed the uh, breeder tetras and I put them back to their... Um, original tank actually I moved them to a 20 gallon tank before they they're uh, in the uh, 75 gallon tank but it's so hard to catch them there so so I moved them to a smaller tank so whenever I'm going to breed them so it's easier to catch them and although it's hard to notice here um so in my first attempt uh i said the eggs look so white in color here um they don't look that white so they're kind of like yellowish so i know that at least some if not most of the eggs were fertilized here and so i put some methylene blue again to uh, again to prevent a uh, fungus attack so here i'm using the air stone to mix the methylene blue with the water and as you can see the water level here is low because uh, I don't want the breathing cage to float too high too far from the bottom of the aquarium but after I put the uh, metal in blue I started uh, adding water to the tank Also, uh, in my first attempt, uh, I always uh, leave the lights on during the whole process of breeding. But this time, uh, I didn't put any more lights. And I actually uh, covered the top of the aquarium. So uh, here, after 48 hours, 
the eggs start started to uh, hatch so it's so hard to see the fry or the wigglers because they're too tiny but i'll definitely give you uh, updates in my next uh, videos and the next uh, big challenge here is to raise and grow out these uh, fries so watch out for my future videos guys to get updates on uh, glowfish tetra breeding and that's it for today's video and i hope you enjoyed watching and if you have any suggestion on how i can improve my uh, way of breeding glowfish tetra i'd really appreciate it so comment down below and also if you'd like to see more of my upcoming videos please subscribe to my channel and that's it for today and i'd like to wish you all a very merry christmas and you all be safe guys bye